Hey everybody, it's Carl Brown here from GuitarLessons365.com and today we're going to talk about Eddie Van Halen style harmonics. Now, as we know, Eddie Van Halen has, you know, kind of been the forerunner of many techniques, tapping and, and all that stuff, and he has kind of taken that and he has applied it to harmonics. So his harmonic technique uh, has a lot to do with doing taps up on the fretboard as well. And it creates some very interesting sounds and give you harmonics that would, you would otherwise not be able to get. So let's figure out what he's doing real, real quick. Now, as on, on the guitar, we, all, we always have the harmonics, the strongest harmonics are at the 12th fret, the 7th fret, and the 5th fret. So those are just the harmonics on the 3rd string of the 12th, the 7th, and the 5th fret. Now, the harmonic is obviously played directly over the fret, not in the fret space directly over the steel fret or nickel fret or whatever you have. Um, so from there, we can, you can use that same idea but do it with tapping notes. So what he does is this. Let's say we have, we're, we're playing this note, the seventh fret on the fifth string here, okay? Now, we have a 12th fret harmonic. We can now mirror that 12 frets higher than this seventh. So, seven, just go up to the seventh fret where you'll see the same fret marker. So this is the third fret marker on my guitar at the seventh fret, or the third fret marker after the double dots. Or you can just do seven plus 12, which is 19, and this will give you the 19th fret. All right, so here, no, normally it would sound like this, and I could tap right over the fret. And I get that harmonic one octave higher than the note I'm playing in the left hand. Now, I can also tap seven frets up from it. So instead of it being 19, I'll now tap the 14th fret. So that's the same note down here, octave higher. And then that gives you the harmonic like it would if you're playing seven frets higher than this one. Now, that gives you a harmonic that's an octave and a fifth higher than the note that you're playing. So this is an E and this gives you a B that's almost an octave and a half, uh, about an octave and a half higher. And then we can also do it at the fifth fret. So this one, instead of the seventh fret, now we have, we're gonna tap at the twelfth. That gives you an, uh, a harmonic that's two octaves higher than this E. That's, I'm playing an E here, so this is, two, this is an E two octaves higher. So we put them all three together. I'll switch it over to the fourth string. Third. Now, so Eddie's very good at getting those taps out. I recommend kind of planting your thumb at the top of the neck so you can just, you have to really smack the top of the fret and come off of it very quickly. Um, just kind of like you're popping the fret, just like you were just gonna just, you're just smacking it. And you got to, so to be more accurate, keep your thumb kind of uh, anchored up here and just use the big joint in the back of your, your, your uh, index finger to really smack the strings down. And you'll get a lot of strength out of it. A good way to practicing that is this. Let's say we have, let's take a little scale. Let's take this D major scale. That's it, five and seven on the fifth. Four, five, seven on the fourth, and then four, six, seven on the third. You may notice I'm using some delays and reverbs. It really helps make these uh, harmonics come out and sing if you've got a little bit of help there. So now I have that basic simple major shape there, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mirror that 12 frets higher. So I have this. And I can also mirror it seven frets higher. So I'll be starting, this is the fifth fret, so I'm starting doing the exact same thing I'm doing here, just mirroring every note that I play, um, just 12, uh, now this in this case, uh, seven frets higher. There are five frets higher. So instead of the fifth fret, now I'm tapping at the tenth.
okay? And you just kind of create little melodies with it. Uh, and just just get used to this the whole the whole tapping motion and getting them out. It's 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 more difficult as you get to like the the, the harmonic that's a, at the seventh fret above the note and the fifth and the fourth or whatever. It's more difficult. So I mean you can do things like this. Now what I did there was the harmonic at the octave, the twelve frets, seven, five, four. So that, you know, we can hit a harmonic at the fourth fret as well, right? So I did that harmonic on that note too. So I did the 12 frets higher, 7 frets higher, 5 frets higher, 4 frets higher, and just worked with all those and just get used to the feel of it. All right, so that's a technique that's called tap harmonics that he does a lot. Another harmo uh, t harmonic technique that he uses, as well as a few other guys, like Steve I, um, are, is something called touch harmonics. This is a little bit easier to do, but it also requires a lot lighter touch. I'm going to be picking the note just with my normal pick, and I'm going to take the very tip of my, um, my middle finger and just lay it on the harmonic 12 frets higher. So if I have this right here, if I have this at the uh, ninth fret here on the third string, so obviously my harmonic is going to be at the 21st fret, 12 frets higher. Now all I have to do is this, set the string in motion with a pick, and then lightly just graze that right over the fret, that string, and come off of it. It's an extremely light touch. It's barely touch the string. So here we go. It sounds really good when you do a bend and then hit it at the apex of the bend and just, just, just. You, you see how this is such a light touch. And I'm just, if you barely graze the string and come off of it, that string will all of a sudden turn into the octave that is, um, you know, an, uh, a harmonic that is an octave higher than the note that you're playing. It really makes it sing and come out. Um, you can use the same technique where, that we did before where you're doing the harmonics from the seventh fret up. So we got stuff like this. So we can do it from the 5th, the 7th, and the 12th frets up as well. But instead of whacking the string, you're just slightly grazing it while holding the note. And once again, it's good to have some vibrato and stuff that really makes that harmonic sing. All right? So I hope this helps you add a little bit of uh, some dimension to your playing, some cool harmonic sounds that you can use um, you know, in just about any style of music. All right? So please go to guitarlessons365.com. Support the site and uh, let me know what you think and let me know what lessons you would like to see. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.